and <laughs> karma, it is what it is. You feel me? Whether it was Big Jug to put a hit on goddamn Dolph or if it was uh, or Yo Gotti, whatever, however it go down, karma comes back. You feel me? J Big Jug up here acting like he didn't, like he ain't untouchable. I saw that video. He was riding around his car talking about um, when Dolph got killed. He's talking about, yeah, man, we're going to give out loans. You know what I'm saying? If your house about to get took, you rented your house, you rented your jewelry, you rented your car, man, we giving out loans. But you go give me 10% back when the shit about to get back popping. Talking big shit. Act like he untouchable. <laughs> What's poppin' GE Gang? It's your boy Swoosh Man. Back with another video. Hey, check this out, man. We about to get to this video with Wack 100. Wack always got some shit to say, boy. Wack always knows some shit. And Wack always on Clubhouse, you know, speaking on some shit. So, we're going to find out what he's talking about. Um, They say he revealed some shit about uh, why, I guess, Yo Gotti's brother, Big Jip, got taken out. Or some details on this and that and whatever. We don't give a fuck. You know, feel me? The only gang we care about is going after new goals. GE gang, you feel me? But I will get my perspective on this. Um, before we start the video, um, the first thing I thought of when, uh, Big Jip got shot and killed and they was at that funeral is the first thing I thought was like Angela Simmons, like how, how does she move through this situation now? Right. And I'm already thinking like, if I was her pops, uh, Rev Run, uh, we're going to have a conversation for sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that she, uh, she, uh, she used to date street niggas, um, her baby dad. Uh, with a street nigga and he got killed, you feel me? So, it's nothing new to her, but this is a little different situation. It's like, now that this has happened, like, every time she's with him, I don't give a fuck if it's a plane, bus, uh, bulletproof truck, you know what I'm saying? She's gonna be in, she's gonna be in harm's way, you feel me? She's gonna be a target, you feel me? So, it's like, how does she move going forward? You know what I'm saying? And I feel like, Yo Gotti should, like, push her out the way, you feel me? Like, it's, she's not... She obviously loves the nigga. You feel me? Ever since he did that song and they got together, I think this nigga isn't probably treated her the best she's ever been treated because if you see their Instagrams, they be going places. He be buying her flowers. He's really cake cupcaking to Angela. You feel me? He got her. He's doing what he's supposed to be doing. So you don't just walk away from that, but sometimes you have to. If you love it, you got to let it go. Especially it's about putting somebody in harm's way. You feel me? So it's going to be crazy to see how they narrate this next chapter uh, of their relationship while he's dealing with the shit he's dealing with. And you know, karma, it is what it is, you feel me? Whether it was Big Jug to put a hit on goddamn Dolph or if it was uh, or Yo Gotti. Whatever, however it go down, karma comes back, you feel me? J Big Jug up here acting like he, didn't, like he ain't untouchable. I saw that video. He was riding around his car talking about um, when Dolph got killed. He was talking about, yeah, man, we're going to give out loans. You know what I'm saying? If your house about to get took. You rented your house, you rented your jewelry, you rented your car, man, we giving out loans. But you go give me 10% back when the shit about to get back popping. Talking big shit. Act like he untouchable. Now, once you in this type of shit, man, um, you always got to be on, on point every fucking time. You can't let up. And it's hard as a human being being on point 100% of the time. You feel me? So that's just my little take on it. But we're going to see what this video is. I'm going to get my little take on whatever Wack got to say, and we're going to run it up. You feel me? So let's go ahead and jump to this video, man. Gotti went and got on the plane to go handle some business. He should have went with his brother. Dolph get hit. And within three days, 50 niggas talking about he dropped a bag. How you feel about, uh, what you say, it's Angela? She damn sure better not be at Juke's funeral. That's facts. She better not be at that funeral. Welcome back to Limitless Celebrity News and Media. And today, we got Wack 100, man, back in the media. And this time, he is speaking out and revealing new details and information that's going across the streets about what really took place with Yo Gotti brother by the name of Big Jip getting took out, man. Yo Gotti has been very quiet since the whole situation transpired, but Wack 100 is saying the streets is talking, man. And he's saying money has been put down. There's been some back doors that's been going on. And also, he's speaking out about Angela Simmons and is saying if Yo Gotti know what's best for him, he better not bring Angela Simmons to his brother's funeral, man. This thing is definitely getting out of control. Yeah. It's been trending all over social media. A lot of speculation and rumors hey. have been going across. This is how I feel. Ain't no motherfucking funeral. With straight cremation. It's not, why would I draw attention and do some shit like that when I know what's coming behind that? We just left a funeral of our uncle and my brother got killed. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> too much information. Too much. You can't. It's hard to hide a funeral. You know what I'm saying? Like somebody's gonna leak that shit. We ain't doing that. Fuck it. We doing straight cremation. I love my brother. It is what it is. I don't give a fuck what nobody to say. We doing this for safety fucking reasons. Um, and that's how we gonna run it. So. Angela Simmons, it wouldn't, she wouldn't have to worry about going because it wouldn't be no fucking funeral. Period. It wouldn't be no public nothing when it comes to my goddamn brother. You already see how these motherfucking Dolph fans going crazy. They all up in the com comment section. Nothing but Dolphins. You feel me? Like, what are we really talking about? The media and re different reports and conspiracy theories, man, and it's getting crazy. And now we got WAC 100 speaking out about it as well. So before we get into this video, make sure you hit that like button if you're not already subscribed. Make sure you subscribe with post notifications. Shout out to Limitless uh, Celebrity News. You feel me for Let's the video? That Yo Gotti and uh, his brother said uh, not. Bad shit, man. Yeah, that's yeah. a bad situation. And it's, <clears throat> and it's like, it's really a tricky situation. Mm -hmm. He has to show maturity. See, this is when your godfather training. You know, I, I've been watching the godfather since I've been like 13 years old. And um, there's a lot of training in that movie. This is where I get to, <clears throat> I lose man, Come on, man. I'll, I'll... I'm not trying to hear that Godfather bullshit, nigga. At the end of the day, Yo Gotti has to check his goddamn emotions, period. That's just what it come down. You got to check his emotions. Now I don't know Godfather, goddamn, duh, duh, duh. no, nigga. Check his emotions. Men, we are not meant to run off our emotions, period. We run off logic. So, Yo Gotti has to think logically what is the best move. You know what I'm saying? If he thinks off emotions, he's going to do some shit that he's going to regret. And might come back and fuck everything up. You feel me? So, I'm saying nigga needs to stop and don't run off his goddamn emotions. I don't know what the fuck Wack talking about. Goddamn the Godfather type shit. I'll lose 10, I'll lose, um, I'll lose 10 battles and win the war. Right? Because right now, the expected is for him to get out and drop a bag. The feds is waiting for it. His ops is waiting for it. And the snitches that's already in his circle is waiting for it. If he does the expected, it's game over. They gonna get him out of here one way or another. And if he here to see it, he gonna watch everybody around him get picked apart because he won't be free to stop it. How you feel about uh, what you say is Angela? I agree with she that. She damn sure better not be a juke funeral. And within three days, 50 niggas talking about he dropped a bag. Nigga, whether you did or not, you dropped a bag. You better start moving like you dropped it. Nah, you ain't lying. Uh, that's, that's everybody saying he dropped a bag. Yeah, the, yeah everybody, right. but, but right look, the that. shooter ain't saying it. Yeah. The fans ain't saying they heard on the wiretap. He ain't claiming it. <laughs> it's the streets. It's just open season on his people. So this is one of those things right now he should need to be focused on <clears throat> the security of his brother's funeral only. That's all he need to be focused on. Yo. Mm. What y'all think about uh, Yo Gotti popping out of Detroit at the at their first concert with uh, 42 Doug and everybody that showed up? You know what I'm saying? Like, most motherfuckers probably would have laid low and shit like that, but I felt like he felt like he needs to make an appearance to show that, you know what I'm saying, you guys didn't stop nothing, you guys didn't shake nothing, you feel me? Like, just to show how strong he is type. That's what I took from it. A lot of people were saying also, uh, they look like he's wearing a bulletproof vest, and I wouldn't blame the nigga, you feel me? Um, but a lot of people were saying he gained weight, which could be the case, because, you know, he over there cupcaking with Angela and he doing his thing, but he might have had one of those goddamn thin, uh, uh, bulletproof vest on, shit. He could come out like 50 used to with the damn whole shit on. But as you know, nigga, like, there's a whole body. You can cover the chest, nigga. That got the whole body to work with. You know what I'm saying? So, I just thought that, that I thought that's what he proved when he came out um, and did that concert in Detroit the other day. Straight up. Because if he, first of all, if you move, they just gonna wait till the funeral. Somebody in this circle is working with the police. That's a fact. They got too many niggas moving with them. Straight up. <clears throat> so they're going to be reporting that. 
He move. They gonna wait for that funeral. They gonna get out. It gets you hot. That's exactly why it shouldn't be a funeral. You're a business man. Shit. That's gonna go away. Right now, motherfuckers be paying their respects. You feel me? With a cremation. He gotta do the unexpected. He gotta take the hit, the trolls, fuck them with something to the people. That nigga just. You no, no, that's yeah. You cannot, right? Oh, that's your brother, nigga. You gonna? Hey, listen, man. Check this out. This ain't about winning here and losing there. This about win winning. Mm -hmm. Now I got to live with my decisions. Talking about them. real shit. If that nigga jump out that window, his ass is not gonna hit the ground. Well, he better figure it out, you know. Um. Bro, it, it ain't no win-win. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be coming for Gotti the rest of his goddamn life. And what's the point of having all this goddamn money and, and fame if you can't even walk around normal? Like, what's the point of having goddamn $30 million if you always got to have a police and security with you? You can't even go jump your whip and go to the goddamn store or go to Disneyland. Like, nigga, I don't... Like, I want the money and none of the fame. Because the way these niggas got to move, bro, I don't want to live like that, bro. They're, Man, at that point, they can take all my money. Let me go back to my regular life. This shit's it's crazy. Kind of, this is a fucked up. Some motherfuckers I can say get addicted then, to the thing. Um, talking to um, um, Victoria. Victoria said that uh, the day that uh, he got killed, that he was on live like he felt it. You know how when people feel death, like like he knew that they. Yeah, was he was saying that. Ass. Yeah. No, let me tell you. Look, me and Game. <clears throat> me and Game just had this conversation about some other shit. He said, "Why? It's been more than 20 occasions. I didn't call you, and you didn't call me. They said, hey, my nigga, I ain't shutting it up to the crib. Game the same way. I'm to the crib. He said, a lot of these niggas that's dead didn't follow what they felt. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> it's a funeral. Nigga, if I'm feeling something, that funeral, nigga already dead. Follow your friends' mind. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I agree you with know that how, you know how many times I done got a with the pull out the driveway and say, go in the house? I go in the house. It's real shit. Gotti went and got on the plane to go handle some business. He should have went with his brother. He dropped a bag on Wookie Woo. Well, nigga, how you know that? They really assuming and talking, parking garage talk. There's too many niggas start saying it. It's the truth. Now, he like on some niggas fuck with them niggas talking about them niggas over there just running their mouth. Nigga, I ain't did that. Oh, you did it. Even if you didn't do it. And you gotta move like you did do it. When them streets wanna put something on you, they gonna put it on you. Angela is the one that he's dating? Angela Simmons. Baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, her, 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 her family gonna be in her ear. What I tell yep. you, baby. You did I, say I, that. Yeah, but this is yeah. what I'm saying. Her, her daddy gonna, gonna set her down. Ear. That's a fact. That's a and, fact. And um, if Gotti love her, he going to remove her. Hmm. From, what did I say? You said, what did I say? Media. What did I say? That's what I but said. If he love her, he going to remove her exactly. from that immediate. Mm -hmm. He going to say, baby, it's hot right now. Listen, I need you to go over there with the state or like, like with me, Flossie. I got a crib I ain't never been to. I ain't never seen it. I know it's a car there. I know it's furnished. I know it's there. I know it's a safe there, right? I never been to the motherfucking house. I brought the motherfucking house about nine years ago. Now over there in the South, in the cut, right? So I'm like this. If it ever get weird, right? And I send that text to my family, they gonna hit Van Nuys Airport, they gonna get to that tail now. I keep a flight been prepaid for eight years from Van Nuys Airport going straight over there. Straight up. They get that text, they out. Cause see, at that point, I got to remove that. Mm -hmm. Right? Now it's on. Right? Because when it's on like that, you can't have it around you. That might get hit trying to hit you. Exactly. So if he love that girl, he gonna put her where she's supposed to be. If he really loved her, I would have been paid the blogs, the stress and strain of the streets has called Yo Gotti and Angela to break up. 
whether it was real or not. Mm -hmm. I'm throwing it out there. She ain't with me no more. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Rob. If you love her. Yeah, that's one of those things, man. When you're in a relationship and you've been in one for a minute, that 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 instinct kicks in. You know what I'm saying? Then you go into protection mode. You know what I'm saying? That's why a man's job is to provide and protect. You go in that protection mode. Anything necessary, you gotta get the fuck away from me. You you can't be around me. I'll give six months. We gotta we gotta run this goddamn play. I gotta calm down. I gotta chill. I gotta fix this situation. I gotta I gotta try to put shit in play. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't be. We can't. You can't do nothing for six months. You gotta go over there and let shit calm down. Whatever. But even then, at the end of the day, I'm telling you, bro. Them dog motherfuckers ain't letting this shit slide. So it's kind of like it's just never gonna go nowhere. You know what I'm saying? So they relationship's never gonna be fucking safe. I don't give a fuck if it's six months, a year later, they together, they still gonna be in danger, bro. You know what I'm saying? And at that point, that's gonna really make her stay down because she understand what you're doing. She see you come out of it, you know, it's kind of like Belly, you know, Nas and his girl. Well, there you have it, man. You heard it right there directly from WAC 100 itself, man. He is saying bags have been dropped within three days, man. The streets is talking and speaking out about what took place and what really happened and what led to Yo Gotti brother by the name of Big Juke actually getting took out, man. Say Yo Gotti left minutes before it happened and hopped on the plane. And after that, man, all hell broke loose and things just took a turn for the worse, man. It's been a lot of speculation and rumors going around. People saying Yo Gotti has something to do with it. A lot of people are saying this is get back for Dolph, man. It's all types of things that's all going right. All I know, the first thing I thought when I, when I read that he put out that tweet about somebody snaking him, which we know snaking coming from your own your own goddamn people, people that you know. You know, your ops, you already know they ops. There ain't no snakes. You, already, you know what I'm saying? They ops already. So when he put out that tweet, the first thing I thought of is uh, when Nipsey put out his goddamn tweet. And then he ended up fucking dead, what, the same day? Because he put that tweet out that morning? You know what I'm saying? Then Big Juke put that goddamn that tweet out, and then he ends up fucking dead? Bro, when they say moving silence, moving silence. And when you know motherfuckers is on your helmet and you put out a tweet, for some reason it seemed like that's official. Let's go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. You feel me? Across the media, man, and WAC 100 is saying the streets is definitely talking. And if Yo Gotti know what's best for him, man, he better part ways with Angela Simmons. And he definitely better not bring her to his brother's funeral because they are definitely a target at this point, man. This whole thing is definitely getting out of control. I'm curious to know your thoughts about this whole thing in the comment section down below. That's All right. Well, listen, at the end of the day, this shit ain't gonna end well for nobody. You feel me? They try to take the fucking uh, the head of PRE out by Dolph, but them niggas is still riding. You know what I'm saying? Just like if uh, if they take out Yo Gotti, motherfuckers still gonna ride with him. That's just how I go. That shit in Memphis is crazy. It, it's it's fucked up that that Memphis is depicted like that. And you got black youngster got watch his ass because he to put himself in the forefront of that goddamn beef. Uh, made a dedicated song to Dolph talking about Dolph from Chicago. You feel me? You ain't fr you ain't from the city. You really from Chicago. You, you ain't about that shit. Boy, he put himself out there like that. So now he got to watch it. Everybody in CMG got to watch their ass. Especially if you're running around with with uh with Gotti. You know what I'm saying? You're going to catch that fucking stray just because you're a part of CMG. That's how that shit go, bro. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see where this shit goes from here. Um, I don't see it ending well for, for a lot of motherfuckers. It depends on how they play it, though. Man, let me know in the comment section what you guys think, man. I just know if Dolph fans really riding for Dolph, man, they ain't forgot shit. And, and, and man, when they put them goddamn Dolphins all in the comment section, you already know what type of time they own, boy. A lot of motherfuckers don't fuck with, y with Gotti. A lot of motherfuckers fuck with him. A lot don't, though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Drop in the comment section, man. Let's run up and let's, ha let's have this converse convo in the conversation, man. Let's, in, in the comment section, I mean. You know what I'm saying? Let's, see, let's talk about it and see what you guys think. Let's see where the shit go. You know we're gonna report on it however it go. Me, I'm not having no funeral. We doing cremation. Like 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 Wax said, man, he already did. If shit if I'm not feeling it, I'm not putting myself or my other family members in that situation. And what's crazy is they went to the goddamn funeral for their uncle. Then what? I don't even know how much longer. Thirty minutes later, motherfucking Juk is dead after just seeing a dead body, then he becomes a dead body the same motherfucking day. Giving hugs to the goddamn funeral. That shit is crazy, bro. 
If you don't want a repeat of that situation, do not have a funeral. And if you are, make it private. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the only way to fucking go. Me, listen, my spidey sense kick in, man, being from L.A., bro. We ain't, we doing straight cremation. Man, I'm not putting nobody in that situation, private or public, uh, uh, funeral. We ain't doing neither one. We just gonna do cremation. It is what it is. It's your boy Food Thinking, man. That's one of the GE gang. Gang. Going after new goals. Period. Fuck all other bullshit. You see what happens when you're in that gang. This, this motherfucking shit you're gonna get. This the energy you're gonna get returned to you. We about elevating for our family and turn it up, get more money, get into the bag, however and whenever and whatever. But in a righteous way. We ain't doing shit that's gonna come back to us and bite us in the ass and have goddamn <laughs> be like Jook or Dolphin had got them $30 million and then motherfucker, you ain't here no more. Fuck all that, bro. It's your boy Food Singer, man. We out this bitch gone. Yeah.